Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Third, third one of the day. Hey, had to get a sneaky one in. Got stinking cold. I thought, oh, sod it. I'm just going to drink my way out of it. I don't care. So, um, went around the supermarkets today. Went around Morrison's. Uh, got a couple of extra beers from there. Uh, a St. Peter's gluten-free bitter. Not really a gluten. I don't need to drink gluten-free, but I can understand why people do. So I picked that up. And I picked up a uh, Hogsback Hop Garden um, beer as well from Morrison's for in future reviews. But I also went to Asda Arnold and uh, the woman was walking past me with this trolley of reduced stuff. And I tell you what, I followed her because I could see these beers on it and I thought, I want to re review that beer. And I followed this woman, she's walking ever so bloody slowly. And I thought, oh, shall I ask her? And I thought, no, because she's got a, they've got a face of death. You know, it's like. And uh, so I followed her right up to where the clearance bit is. Took about 10 minutes to get there. She's ever so slow. And uh, I said, oh, can I just um, look at that? And I got the... Uh, and I thought, Jesus Christ, I only want to look to see what the beer was. Okay, so yeah, I've never had it before. And luckily enough, it's one I've never had before. And um, so, it is from the Great Orm Brewery Welsh Black. Never had it before, you know. I'll never, if, if I've got, as long as I've got some pennies on me, I'll never pass up the chance of getting a beer that I've never had before. So it's, um, I suppose this is the Welsh pronounce, pronunciation. Brag the Argogarth, the Great Orm Brewery, Welsh Black. So it's a champion mild. Don't get many milds these days. When I worked at Sainsbury's, um, people kept coming in for mild and we just didn't have it. The closest thing we had over the years to it was one from um, uh, Blue Monkey Brewery. <coughs> uh, that was one of their brown ales, and can I remember the name of it? No, drank plenty of it, can't remember the name. So, sadly, it's a 4% beer. And that most of these beers, it doesn't tell you. I mean, it was £1.84, I got it for 80 pence. And, uh, I ain't complaining at that. 80 pence for that. Bang on. So... We'll pour it out, I'll have a look at it, do a little drink, and then we'll go on the internet and get some reviews, because there's bound to be reviews. Best before November of next year. So what you find with some supermarkets, ooh, what you'll find is that sometimes they get sent a product with what they're not ranged for. And what that is, to let you understand better, Every supermarket has X amount of beers that they have for their shelves. And, you know, the the range is decided by headquarters. Local shops haven't got, you know, not like a normal shop where you can just chuck it on and sell it, you know, whatever. So they're not ranged for it. So what it is, they just get odd, odd cases in that they don't sell. We had it at Sainsbury's. And you just reduce its minimum price just to get rid of it because you don't sell it. So the only way to get rid of it is to chock it down low. I mean, at Sainsbury's, I got some cracking bargains that way. You know, it was, a great, it was fantastic. One of the things I do miss about Sainsbury's was the bargain beers that I got. And in, in years to come, when I get older, it may be the case that I go back to working and do overnights at Sainsbury's or, or another supermarket and try and get back on the beers because... Uh, you know, it was a fantastic job for me. Um, I had some disagreements with some managers uh, when I was, my mental health, uh, because of my mum dying of cancer, um, treated me uh, horrendous. But mostly great times, great people. You know, the people on retail really do work hard. And uh, my hat goes off to all of them. So, not much of a head on it. Can't tell if it's carbonating because, as you can see, it is jet black. Looks like Guinness without a head. First thing you can smell, chocolate malts coffee. Oh, 
smells absolutely gorgeous. I haven't tasted it yet, but it smells beautiful. It's only 4% as well. This should be a 7%er in the smell alone, not the taste. Oh. Now I've got a cold. Man flu, whatever, you know. I wish it'd do one because it's, it's you can do without it. I'm supposed to go to Alton Towers today. I got up this morning feeling so lousy, and I've been feeling lousy all week. And you know it's not good that you, when you're looking forward to something and you get into the state, oh, I wish I'd not said I'm going to, you know. And you know it's time just to pull out. I mean, sometimes you do that and you miss out on a good night out. Huh? I've done it to so many of my mates and family where I've not, you know, not quite felt like it. And sometimes it's because I suffer with anxiety and stress. So I, you know... I get anxious before I go and I bottle it and don't go and I missed out on a great night but back to the drink oh that's nice it's like a Welsh Guinness you know mm. can't believe it's only 4% so let me try and do a quick um so it's, what is it, the Great Orm Brewery. Oh, I better just, if I put Welsh Black, what's it called? A bit of Welsh Black, you can't beat a bit of Welsh Black. Don't want to be searching for that. Put Welsh Black Milf instead of Mild. Not good. <clears throat> right. So on ratebear.com, and I'll go to the site in a minute because because I've never heard of this site, you know. So 3.23 out of 5 from 94 ratings. Um, mild style, obviously, you know. Available bottled, rich, dark, full of malt flavours. This black bitter owes its characteristics to the large amount of chocolate malt. I knew there was chocolate in there. And velvety smooth, rich coffee finish. I knew there was coffee in there and the malts as well. Lovely. It's nice sometimes as a reviewer and as a beer fan, because I'm a beer fan, you know. Uh, I don't take myself too seriously, but um, it's nice to get verification for what you can smell. Because if, you, if, if, if what they're saying is what you can smell and taste then you know you know that you you're getting more honed to what's what you're actually drinking instead of talking absolute rubbish i was going to say a big word ending the next but you, you get what i'm saying uh no home or ops added to this bit well you don't need a home as it's it's gorgeous as it is it includes it, it's, it seven types of grain are used to develop the flavor wow so here uh, Dark chocolate, coffee, roasted malts, and licorice flavours. Licorice, oh, I'll have to see if I can taste that. In this sil silky smooth mild, a beer that feels like a dessert. I have to agree, it is absolutely amazing. Um, <clears throat> coffee, roast malt aroma, a very dark chestnut brown near black. Very thin, short-lived head. Yeah, definitely. Sparse lacing, coffee milky. I am getting a bit of milky, milky taste left in the mouth. Earthy flavour dry. Has a few roasted malts in both aroma and taste. But whilst it's very mild in character, it's not quite a mild in style. It's still more of a bitter. A few roasted malts are also evident in its taste. Someone's put my bottom line, dark fruit jam, chocolate and toasted bread. Little subtle roasty bitterness in this pleasant dark mild. And the last one. Nose is chocolate, roasted malt, like soy, softened milk. There's definitely an hint of milk. I'm definitely getting milk taste in my mouth as I'm talking. Taste is sweet milk leading to milk chocolate, toast, into blackcurrant, caramel, drop-off coffee. Mouthfeel is full. This is very nice. 
I assumed grave things about this brewer based on a catastrophe of a golden ale. So, you know, absolutely unbelievable. Just trying to bring up the um, the site. If I get rid of the review bit, I might be able to bring it up. I'm going to have to actually put in Great Orm Brewery. Google can be a swine at times by not going straight to the people who actually make. Um, <clears throat> there we go. Great Orm Brewery. And uh, to be honest, the website doesn't say anything. It just says there's a storm brewing. So on the Facebook page, Orm is there, which I think is, no, that's that's Welsh black, isn't it? So you've got Orm, Snowden, Celtica, and I can't tell what the other one was. But definitely going to Facebook them later, tell them I've reviewed their beer, because that is impressive. Very impressive. I mean, I like, um, I do like my darker beers, I must admit. You know, I'm a dark beer fan. But I'm a fan of taste and all that. And unless it's because I've already had two, two I've done two, this is the third review today. And I've got a cold, so maybe, you know, but let's not take away from the fact that this is an awesome beer. If this was released in a, like a, a reserve version or you know just strong version six and a half percent version um i think you've got a i think you've got a, a top 10 beer there you know wow i can tell it's not as strong as the likes of king goblin which is one of my favorite of all the beers but it's certainly got, you know, it's certainly got a taste to it that's really absolutely bang on. Oh, I'll savour this. Now, if, a, if the brewery can produce this, it makes you wonder what their other beers taste like. You know, nah. For a mild, it might not be, um, shall we say, a standard mild um, that you see around. But I'll, you give that to any person in, in, in the country, well, in Britain rather, who like mild, they'll drink it. Anybody who likes Guinness, Stouts, Porters, that is well worth trying, you know, if you can get it. I looked, I did, when I looked on the internet, beersofeurope.co.uk, do sell it, but I don't, you won't be getting it for 80 pence, I want to thought, but, um, you know, I got it on a bargain today, I was in, at the right time, at the right place, and, uh, absolutely spot on, so, all important, the review score, ooh, I'm going to give it, it's close to one of my top beers. It's a four percenter. What the hell are you doing in my top beers? Yeah, I like strong beers. I'm gonna give it a 4.68. So I've had to go down. Uh, no, I don't wanna give it, I don't wanna go too high, but this is quality. Wow. Now obviously today, walking into Asda, I was there, and you know, the gods were saying, and she walked past me when I was on the right aisle. And I looked and I thought, ooh, I'm having, I'm, what's that? I've not had that before. Hey, right place, right time, right drink. Oh. Don't do any more beer reviews tonight. I'll be talking rubbish all night long. But anyway, yeah, that is quality. If you ever see it, 
and like me you like dark beers Welsh black by the great Orm Brewery wow I bet that's my first and last time I'll ever get to try that unless I go down to Wales but um, yeah absolute quality well impressed thanks Asda and thanks to the great Orm Brewery Woo, class cheers thanks for watching I better turn it off, haven't I? There you go.